In this session we take a look at the Open Broadcast software and see how I've set it up for my first recent live stream at YouTube. So what we're looking at here is Open Broadcast software set up in preview mode. So if I stop that, you'll see when you normally open up Open Broadcast software there's nothing there. So if I start previewing the stream again what we find that we've already lost the window capture. And I'm going to get that back again, so I'll show you how to do it. That's the window that I'm, that I'm capturing, and you can see now it's back again. Fair enough, okay, that's good. So let's reduce that down. And if you're new to this, you have to build up a scene. So, so what we're doing here is if I click Edit Scene, you'll see there is a red area which is around that window, and it snaps into place. Look, if I pop it down there, it will snap into place and then I'm going to drag it up and arrange my scene. So if I make it a little bit bigger, yeah that'll do just about, say there. So if I click on either one of those you can see I can drag the slideshow, I can sort out the text here, so if I right click on it you can say UK please, live Twitter 50 forces, I've got the font size, um, Signica light if you like, and this one here is just a slide, so if I right click on it then you'll see that it opens up as a place on my hard drive and I've set the opacity to about 50%. I found that if I put it up to 100% and saved it, it's just a little bit strong on there. So I thought, right click, properties, and I've dialed it down to 50 just to lose it. Remember it's a mock-up slide at this stage until I do the second test and produce other users in the feed. And this one up here is the built-in laptop webcam and there are a ton of different things going on to set it and that's it so if I stop the preview here and have a look at open broadcast software itself there's very little going on the one that's really really important is that if I look at the settings then what I can do with encoding is don't touch that broadcast settings you can see that I've gone to YouTube and this is the part that, that's really super important and that is that if I go to YouTube on my channel which is live underscore dashboard scroll down it will say encoder setup and then you've got this RTMP URL with a passcode called a stream key now if you go back you'll notice that if you set up live streaming to custom, I've not used YouTube. Don't ask me why, I just haven't used it and it worked this way, so I'm not touching it. I entered the URL in this field. The second URL where it says play path stream key, then I've copied and pasted that. Do those two things and you save it and you are well on your way to creating a live stream without any fuss at all. There was a, a red text area here at the bottom and it said you need to optimize some things. All I did is clicked one button which was down here on the left which is optimize and it is sorted it out um, for me. Didn't do anything. The other one which I have enabled here is automatically save the stream to the file which is mic videos and mp4. Now that's important for me because it's bringing the stream locally onto my hard drive so if I lose YouTube I've still got all of the, the video left. You can see that there are some other settings here my stream's captured at quite big, which is bigger than like HD. Um, audio settings, I'm going to go all, all through them all. What I'm interested in is getting this video finished and teaching people as fast as I can. So for an example, what you'll see is if you right click here, you've got a few um, different controls. A lot of the secrets in open broadcast software are on right clicking. So for an example, you can see that I've messed around here with a few different scenes the one that I've created for live YouTube. Now, a scene, read that as a slide change on your whole um, desktop. So in other words, when I've looked at a couple of things, I don't really want to click them because they're not going to tell anything to you. So I'm going to finish this video because I've really got nothing else to say, apart from when you want to start and go live at YouTube, all you literally do is click for YouTube live streaming, click start. If I hit this button which says start streaming, I will go live at YouTube immediately. There is no stop and start at YouTube, it is automatic, which is pretty amazing really. If I wanted to start local recording, then I will click local recording. So for an example, if I hit start recording now, it is now recording. You can see the microphone going up, uh, I'm talking, and once again I've lost the 
window from Chrome. So if I maximize it here, you can see it's come back again. So remember OBS, Open Broadcast Software, is free. From what I'm looking at is amazing. I'm using on Windows 10 and this is well on the way to get me started live streaming again. And I hope it does you too.